There are two big, big picture strategies that you can use to get views on YouTube. Now, as soon as I say that, you might be thinking, wait, you've heard a lot more strategies than that in the past. You've seen plenty of videos about lots of ways to get views on YouTube. And you're right, there are a lot of other ways to get views on YouTube, but there are two main big picture strategies that work really well. And so that's what I'm gonna be getting into in today's video, what each of those strategies are, how they work, and how to know which one is right for you and growing your channel on YouTube. The first main strategy is called keyword research. Now this is the strategy that most people talk about the most because how to execute this strategy is the most obvious and the easiest, and it creates the most predictable results. But what exactly is keyword research and how can it help you get views here on YouTube? Well, basically keywords are specific words or phrases that people may search for. So an example of this might be the word pet, or it might be a phrase like how to decide what pet to get. These phrases could be very short, like DSLR camera, or very long, like what DSLR camera should I buy in 2020? Keyword research then as a strategy to get views on YouTube involves researching keywords to figure out which keywords are the most popular so that you know what topics would be best to make your videos about. But then the strategy goes on to include other steps that relate to how to get your videos to rank on YouTube for those keywords or suggested based on those keywords or to get people to click on them after the video ranks on those keywords. So as you can see, this one big picture strategy, keyword research, involves a lot of other smaller strategies. Most videos here on YouTube that are about how to get views on YouTube are about keyword research related strategies, like how to decide which keywords are good keywords to go after and how to get your videos to rank for those keywords and how to get your videos suggested based on those keywords. And then once your videos get ranked for those keywords, how do you get people to click on them? So probably most of what you've heard, 90% of what you've heard in the past about how to get views on YouTube was actually related to keyword research. Now, before I move on and talk about the next strategy, I just wanna be really clear that keyword research does work. And done well, it can produce great results and garner hundreds, thousands, even millions of views on YouTube. But it's not the only strategy. There is another one that can work really well that you might not have heard much about in the past. So what I'm gonna do now is tell you all about this other strategy, and then we're gonna get into the pros and cons of each, and I'm gonna walk you through how to decide which of these strategies is really best for you and your channel right now. The second strategy I call the community leader strategy. Now it's much less obvious how to execute this strategy and it's also a little bit more difficult to know how. And so for those reasons, it's a lot less common for people to talk about the strategy and you might not have even heard of it before. So what exactly is the community leader strategy? Well, it's where you as the video creator position yourself as the leader of a community, AKA your viewers. Now keep in mind that positioning yourself as the leader doesn't necessarily mean that you're positioning yourself as an expert or an authority, just a leader, someone who is suggesting new ideas and ideas that are going to be trend setting. In your videos, you present these new ideas and your opinions on popular topics. So you're not making videos that are about specific keywords that happen to be popular right now. You're making videos about a generally popular topic and your takes and your new ideas and your new inspiration relating to that bigger topic. This is the strategy used by Matt Diavella, a leader in the minimalist community. Peter McKinnon, a leader in the online videography community, and Janelle Eliana, a leader in the van life community. And this strategy has worked really well for their channels. It catapulted each of them to the forefront of YouTube and grew their channels by hundreds of thousands, if not millions of subscribers in a matter of mere months. These creators don't just rely on exploiting popular keywords. Rather, they chart their own course, creating much riskier content and rallying their communities. All right, now that you understand what each of the two strategies are, let's dive into the pros and cons of each. First, I'll explain the cons of the community leader strategy since that's what we were just talking about. Then I'll get into the cons of the keyword research strategy and then I'll get into the pros of each of them. 
The first con of the community leader strategy is that using this strategy won't create very predictable results. Because you're charting your own course, you don't know what you'll find. And in this case, what that means is that you don't really know how well your ideas will resonate with people and how interested they'll be in them. The second con of this strategy is that it's much more difficult to know how to execute it. And that is because, unlike with the keyword research strategy, you can't duplicate someone else's success when you're using the community leader strategy. What works for one channel won't necessarily work for another. And the very nature of the strategy demands that the content you make for your channel is different than the content that anyone else is making. That you have different ideas and different opinions on popular topics. But that is not to say that the community leader doesn't have some advantages, some pros, and some pretty big ones at that. But before we can get into those, let's talk a little bit about some of the cons of the keyword research strategy. The keyword research strategy definitely has some cons. There are three that I want to share with you today. The first one is that the keyword research strategy really doesn't build community or promote engagement. Now, sure, you can still do these things even if you are using the keyword research strategy to grow your channel. There are still other things you can do to turn your viewers into more of a community or to get them to engage. But if your main strategy for getting views is the keyword research strategy or some aspects of the keyword research strategy, then you're always going to have to do just a little bit of extra work in order to create that community and drive that engagement. The second big con of this strategy is that it doesn't drive sustainable channel growth. Now, what I mean by that is that even though each new video that you put out, if you do your keyword research well, can get a lot of views simply by ranking for those keywords or getting suggested based on those keywords, over time, your channel will attract more and more subscribers, people who watched those videos and then decided to subscribe, but they won't necessarily be very interested in the future videos you make. They might no longer be interested in that specific keyword that originally led them to your channel. And beyond that, because they found your channel just because of a specific keyword, they might not see you as a leader, someone whose opinion they really care about, and they won't have that compelling reason to keep coming back to your videos and your channel over and over again. And that leads me right into the third big con of using keyword research as your primary strategy for growing your channel. And that is that this strategy won't naturally position you as a leader in your industry or your community. Now, this might be something you don't care about at all. Maybe all you want is to get the views, get the subscribers, make some money from the ads, and if so, that's fine. But if you're trying to build something bigger than that, if you're trying to use your channel to build your brand online, or to fuel your business, or you're trying to start some sort of movement, or you just want people to care about what you have to say, then keyword research isn't really going to help you do any of those things. I mean, think about some channels you might have seen here on YouTube that just make list video after list video. There is normally some sort of host in these videos walking you through the facts, but you don't really care about that person at all. You might not even know who that person is. You certainly don't care about their opinion on any Thing. So as you're trying to decide how to grow your channel and which strategy to use, you need to think about whether being positioned as a leader in your industry or in your community is something that is important to you. There are three main pros of the community leader strategy that I want to share with you today. The first one is perhaps the most obvious. It's that this is the strategy that does the best job of building community. But along with that is something you might not think about, and that is that this strategy also promotes engagement the most. It's the strategy that is going to prompt your viewers to really be engaged with your channel so that they click the like button, so that they leave comments, and so that they watch a higher percentage of your videos because they're just so engaged with the content. The second pro is that this strategy is much more likely to create sustainable channel growth. That's because, first of all, community. These people are involved and they are a part of this. So they're not going to abandon your channel nearly as easily. Second of all, because leadership. You're positioning yourself as a leader and so they're really interested in what you have to say and they put value in your opinions. And then third and finally, because you aren't 
basing your decisions about what videos to make on popular keywords so you're not dependent on those keywords staying popular. Now, yes, you do need to make sure that you are talking about a topic that will stay popular over the long run, but you aren't dependent on a particular keyword that is popping one month and dying the next. And the third big pro of the community leader strategy is related to that, but a little bit different. It's that it positions you as a leader in your community. Now with pro number two, I was talking about how this could cause your channel to grow more sustainably over time. But here for pro number three, I'm just talking about how good that can be for you if you're using your channel to build some sort of brand online. The keyword research strategy has four main pros. The first one is probably the biggest. It's that the keyword research strategy creates the most predictable results. If you correctly implement this strategy, then you will get views on your videos and those views can definitely convert into subscriber growth with your channel. So that's something that's really appealing about this strategy. If you do it right, then you'll get the results you're looking for. The second pro of this strategy is that it's easier to duplicate. You can look at what's working for other channels. You can look at what keywords are currently popular. You can see how other channels are making videos on these keywords and you can do exactly the same thing on your channel. Now, of course, you're probably not going to copy everything about their videos, nor would you want to, but you can copy the important elements that are making their videos succeed. And along with that comes the third pro, which is that this strategy is a lot easier to execute than the community leader strategy. There's a lot of information out there about how to use keyword research to get views on your channel. And there's a lot of people out there that you can study their channels and then figure out what to do on your channel when you see what's working on theirs. And finally, the fourth pro of using keyword research is that this strategy has the power to get you traction as easily as possible. You can really use keyword research to harness the power of the YouTube algorithm so that your channel can go from zero to successful without that much of a gamble and as quickly as possible. In order to succeed in getting views on YouTube, you do have to make videos about topics that people are interested in. If you don't talk about things that people are interested in, then you'll have a really difficult time getting people to watch those videos to get their interest in the first place. Minimalism, digital photography, and van life are all currently trending topics that right now there are a lot of people who are very interested in them. After time, these topics will eventually die away and people will lose their interest. And if you try to make videos at that point, then you're going to really struggle to get views here on YouTube. Now, fortunately, it's a little bit less likely that you'll be too early. I mean, think about if Peter had started making videos about digital photography and videography 20 years ago when the technology was brand new or 50 years ago when the technology didn't even exist yet. Well, I mean, technically he couldn't have made his videos then, but if he could have made his videos, they would have been really, really fascinating. And that just tends to be the nature of new innovative ideas. Or if Janelle Eliana and Matt Diavella had made van life and minimalism look as sexy as they do, those trends would probably have caught on a lot sooner. Hmm, maybe that's why my videos don't get more views. Maybe I just need to make entrepreneurship look sexier. Yeah. Let's talk about which of these two strategies is right for you right now and most likely to give you the best and biggest results possible. First of all, if your channel is new or small and you're just working to get it off the ground, I'd really recommend the keyword research strategy. There's a lot of reasons for this. First of all, it is going to give you the most predictable results. If you really master this strategy and you execute it correctly, your channel will grow. It's also just much easier to learn this strategy. As I mentioned earlier on in the video, most gurus who tell you how to get views on YouTube are teaching you keyword research strategies. There's a lot of information out there about how to do this and how to do it well. 
It's also a lot easier to get right and a lot less overwhelming. You'll be faced with a lot fewer difficult decisions because keyword research tends to be a very black and white thing to do. You would just look at the numbers and the keywords that are more popular are the keywords that you should make videos about. And you can do additional research to find more information on those topics to fill your videos with. You don't have to put a whole lot of creative thinking into the process. And finally, I'd really recommend this strategy for small and new channels because it really works with the YouTube algorithm in a great way and leverages the power of the algorithm to be able to quickly grow your channel in a very predictable way. When you make videos about keywords that are popular, then the algorithm naturally will be recommending those videos to large numbers of people because large numbers of people are searching for those keywords. So it's a lot more likely that your videos will get out there, get some exposure, and potentially take off. On the other hand, here are a few situations in which the community leader strategy might work a lot better for you. First of all, if you've already started getting traction with your channel, but you wanna make sure that it grows into something that's really sustainable, the community leader strategy can do that really well because while it's more difficult to get initial traction with the community leader strategy, it's great for building a community and promoting engagement and positioning yourself as a leader, all of which will lead to more of your subscribers continuing to watch your videos over and over again. Unlike with keyword research, where people might find one of your videos because of a specific keyword, but then never care about any of the rest of them, with the community leader strategy, it's much more likely that people will be interested in what you have to say in future videos. Another reason why you might want to lean into the community leader strategy is if your channel is growing and you see your subscriber count going up, but your views aren't keeping pace. So if you're getting more and more subscribers, but your views are staying stagnant or they aren't growing as quickly, this is a really good indication that you're probably, whether you realize it or not, relying on keyword research strategies and you're attracting these subscribers that don't necessarily care about you and your opinions long term. And so that's when it's really important to pivot into the community leader strategy so that you can start to grow your channel more sustainably, but also so that you can can shift the culture that is currently existing in your channel into more of a culture of community and less of a culture of people who came for a specific purpose. And finally, you may want to use the community leader strategy if you're working on building a brand. If you want to establish a brand online, whether it's just to promote your ideas or it's to sell products online or offline, whether they're your own products or someone else's products, whatever your reason for wanting to build a brand are, you'll be able to do it much more effectively if you are seen as a leader in the community that will buy from your brand or in your industry, because that's when people will really care about what you have to say, they'll care about your opinions, and they'll care about your recommendations, whether those are recommendations to buy a particular product or recommendations to take a particular action. You can't make change unless you're seen as a leader. I wanna be completely honest here and admit that the community leader strategy is something that I was only recently really able to define and quantify. And it's definitely something that I'm still working on AKA failing at myself. It's tough to figure out where exactly you belong, who you're leading and what a community wants from you. It's also just a lot more difficult to come up with unique ideas. I mean, groupthink is always easier. And it's also a lot scarier and more risky to divert from what everyone else is doing, to chart my own course, to make content that's a little bit different or share my controversial opinions. And it's extra scary when you have more to lose. Like I shared earlier in the video, the keyword research strategy really generally works best when you're first starting out trying to get traction with your channel. But the challenge is that that means that later on you're going to be more pivoting into the community leader strategy, which is difficult because that is the riskier strategy. And if you've already created some momentum with your channel, then you're putting more on the line to make that riskier content. So that's why this is a difficult decision and something you're gonna have to weigh. You can either take the faster, easier road with the keyword research strategy, 
Or you can take the longer, slower, less predictable road with the community leader strategy. Or you can combine the two and do one for a while and then pivot. But whatever you choose, there's going to be difficulty along the way. Over the past few years, I have really mastered using keyword research to get views here on YouTube, and it's obviously worked. My channel has grown really quickly. But now I have to step into the scary unknown of prioritizing engagement and community and making new different content that's potentially unpopular, potentially not as popular. But that's what I need to do in order to create the community that is really important and engage with you guys more. So I really hope that you'll stick around for the ride. As I mentioned earlier, the keyword research strategy definitely does have its merits. And especially if your channel is new or small and you're just working to get it off the ground, it's actually what I would recommend because it is so much easier and so much more predictable. If you're interested in learning more about the keyword strategy and how to actually use it to grow your channel, then you can check out a free workshop that I put together all about this. It's called How to Get Views on YouTube with zero subscribers, and it will teach you absolutely everything you need to know to put the strategy to work so that you can quickly start growing your channel. There's a link down below that you can click to get some more information about it and to sign up for the next showing of the workshop. Like I said, it's completely free, so make sure you at least check it out. Okay, well, that's all for today's video, guys. Thanks so much for joining me for this one. Thanks for sticking around till the very end. If you enjoyed it, of course, be sure to hit the like button and even more more than that, if you aren't subscribed yet and you want to see more videos like this, then make sure you subscribe by pushing the button down below and also ring the bell if you want to be notified when my next video comes out. I, every single week, make videos about entrepreneurship and success and marketing just like this one, so I'd love to have you join me for the next one. Also, I'm curious to know if you're watching this video, um, if you have a YouTube channel or not, because I'm guessing you probably do, or at least you're thinking about starting one. One. So leave me a comment down below. Tell me if you have a YouTube channel or if you're thinking of starting one and also tell me what your channel is about. Of course, you can't leave a link to your channel that doesn't really work in YouTube comments, but just tell me if you have a channel and what it's about. And if other people see it and they're interested in that topic, they'll probably check it out. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. So it could be a uh, fur coat for dog, or it could be how to decide the right fur coat for your dog. That's a very strange example. <laughs> Let's not uh, use that example. I just realized how weird that sounded. <laughs>